I think the biggest impact we make through the Milton E. Ford LGBT Resource Center is really touching people's lives. We're really committed to providing support, education, and advocacy to our campus community to cultivate um, an environment where everyone can be their authentic selves. I know the impact that it can have. I was a student in undergrad who benefited from student affairs and student support personnel who invested in me as a student. Um, and I recognize that it impacted and changed the trajectory of my life of wanting to do this work also. And so for me, I do this work in hopes that I can live up to some of the folks who have given me so much in my life and also recognizing that the university setting is one of the most unique places I think that folks ever get to experience. I started off doing uh, community organizing and working as a executive director of an LGBT community center in Southwest Michigan. So I had the opportunity to really take a broad view of what it looks like to support LGBTQIA plus people. Engagement in the community has always been a big part of my life. I was born and raised in Michigan to immigrants from Taiwan. My grandparents were all born in China. And so we were raised in a really tight-knit Chinese-American community. I learned a lot about how we all have different backgrounds, we all have different stories, but one of the things that influenced me the most was when a mentor said, try to find the shortest bridge to cross. And at first I didn't really know what that meant. But for me over the years, I've really come to understand that crossing the shortest bridge means building relationships, building understanding, building those connections that allows us to see other people for their whole selves in their full human dignity. And I think that's really impacted how I do this work, but also how I live my life to understand that we all have common points of interconnection that make us human. I've been really, really fortunate to be able to do what I love for my professional work. And I think that not everyone gets to do that. And every day I get to wake up, go to work and do work that I really care about and I'm passionate about.